What's Gucci guys? It's your boy S your kid out the first black super saiyan do ever rap on this planet. I am the first black super saiyan back here with this video for you guys. First black super saiyan with a young saiyan drip. I am the first black super saiyan king light and I am Mr. Sexy 5 out of 10. Shouts out to you guys. We got this anime review. This weeboo. These are the weeboo garden chat. You guys know my little series. I'm going to uh, put the uh, playlist at the end of the video. I'm going to have it up here, you know, somewhere. I'm going to put the playlist for anime reviews up, the weeboo garden chats. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this review for you guys. Flash review, quick little review, to let you guys know about this show. The show had an original run in 2003. It's pretty much done right now, 13. No, nah, no, nah, it's uh, tw more than 20. It's 24 episodes in total. <clears throat> 24 episodes in total. There's a manga. Go check it out. But this is regarding the anime, so we're going to go ahead and review this. And this is regarding the anime, guys, the anime. Let's go and let's get into it. So this show basically takes place with a character named Daisuke Niwa. He's in, uh, well, he's a teenager. I forgot if he's in high school or middle school. He's definitely in either high school. He's either in high, ju high school or junior high in this series. But that's not the big point. That doesn't even matter. Okay. So this is a young boy, right? Comes from this long family of special people. Long line family of special people. But we... From what we know in the show, they don't tell us what these special people are yet. We don't know what these special people are. Or well, this special somebody is in, in the family that runs through the, the men in the family. So basically, this man has a crush on this girl. Her name is Risa Harada. Risa Harada is one of the twins that are uh, that are also main characters in the show. Risa Harada is, you may see it here, I'm pointing right here, this girl with this bow and long hair right here. That is Risa Harada. So this dude basically has a crush on her. And uh, he, he, he goes to ask her out. You know, goes to talk to her, ask her out. He gets rejected. I know. Sucks. <laughs> he gets rejected. And doing so into this rejection, you know, whatever pain he's feeling from this rejection as a guy. You know, if you ever been a guy, if you, you, you know, us guys, if you've been rejected before, you know it's a, oh, wait. <laughs> Bro, they just hitting me. <sighs> but you guys know, for anyone that went through rejection, you know it 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 hurts a little bit. It hurts just a little bit, depending on how you get it. So basically, this rejection brought out a ability out of this young man, uh, Daisuke Niwa, brought out a ability. It basically brought out this person called a uh, Dark Mousy. Dark Mousy is a phantom thief. He's basically a thief, a phantom thief. He, he gets his kick off of stealing valuable priced objects, you know, uh, of, of objects of high value from the from the past years ago when he used to be a phantom thief. So basically, this phantom thief spirit, in a way, I guess you can call it a spirit. He he <clears throat> he gets reborn inside a new man in the family. So basically, the grandfather had Dark Mousy within him. And then it gets passed on to his to his son. And now Daisuke Niwa, he has this ability. But it skipped Daisuke's dad, and now he has the ability. So it gets passed on. So basically, that's that's pretty much the show. It's about this phantom thief going around, you know, basically stealing high value priced objects. And it's two different personalities. So you have Daisuke Niwa to do with the red hair right here. And this is Dark Mousy. They call him Dark. They basically call him Dark. So he's basically the... Uh, this is Daisuke Niwa to do with the red hair. Chilling. Cool guy. And you got Dark right here on the uh, right of him with the purple hair. That's his second personality. Dark is one. The cool guy. Suave. You know, ladies man. You get all the women. Daisuke is the kind of... He's not a... He's not a, a, a dweeb or nothing. He's just a regular kid. I'm not. I, he's not a kid that you expect to be, you know, the coolest, strongest. He's kind of nerdy, but he's, you know, cool, genuine, respectable, humble little dude. You know, he's he cool. But, you know, going through the show. Okay, I'm going to give you all the basic, the negatives I have with the show. The negatives. Since this is 2003, and I watched it now, I, I kind of... I had to let the English dub slide, but I got used to it. At first, the English dub was kind of, especially on the, uh, especially on the, uh, it was mainly, it was mainly the voice acting for 
the, the main three women in the show, the main three girls, some of their voices were like, ugh. But when I watch the show repeatedly so much now, it's I start to get used to it. I start to get used to it. And I'm like, all right, cool. It's a dub that can be irritating at first, but you get used to it. Characters like uh, Dark, I feel like his 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 English dub voice actor transitions well with you know it syncs up well with his character. Dice Dice Niwa, um, for the most part, I'm vibing with the voice. I'm vibing with mainly the male characters. I vibe with their voices more because they feel like they fit more for the characters for the girls, especially uh, Rika's uh, sister. No, 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 that's Rika. Especially Risa. 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 Yeah, Rika. Rika. So it's Risa and Rika, but Risa's twin sister, It her voice is kind of in. It's iffy. And you got the girl with the blonde hair. I ain't going to say her name because she, she's a key part. Just know there's a girl with some blonde hair and she's important. So she basically has kind of a, a voice where it's like, it, I wouldn't say it's annoying. It's like you hear it. And you kind of get a distaste about it, and then you start to hear it more and more, and you get used to it. It's that kind of, it's a dub, it's an English dub, you get used to. Now, one thing I did dislike about the show was the action segments. Dark, he's a cool dude, but he didn't have any, like, his action, his action moments were through uh, when he would go do his Phantom Thief stuff. You know, he has to go steal this price objects, right? And when 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 Dark goes to steal stuff, it's like a it's like almost kind of like a little festival kind of thing. It's kind of like that. It's like the the police will be ready, it because there's this there's this police officer in in the show that that has his files on Dark and stuff, and he's been like tracking down Dark and trying to find Dark. And in the first night Dark came out. They was like waiting for this dude, like, man, we're going to get this guy. Finally, we're going to get him. We're going to get dark. We're going to arrest him. We're going to, man, I've been waiting for this moment. You have a character in in the part of the, you know, the police officers that are like this in the show. And I'd say it's a good thing, you know, it kind of brings in a guy that's, you know, wants to take down dark because dark is a thief, you know, dark is a thief. But he's stealing these things for a reason. I can't say why. Just know he's stealing a bunch of stuff. But I would say the show needed a little bit more action to it. It, it. The action wasn't very good. The action wasn't very good. But I understood it for the show because the show is really not a action, a majority action based show. It's sort of a a a, a little you know soap opera kind of thing. It feels like a it feels like more of a drama than it is a show that's going to focus on some action. Now it's it's sort of a in this show you have Daisuke. You have Daisuke and the two twins. Daisuke likes Risa. But this is the problem. Risa likes Dark. But Risa doesn't know that Dark and Daisuke is the same person. So, Risa, in a way, likes Daisuke, but she doesn't know it. Daisuke knows that Risa likes Dark, but Daisuke knows he's not Dark. It's confusing. I know. But, this other girl, one of the twins, he starts to find out he has something for. Her. And you'll you'll start to see it in the show. You know, they start to ease into each other. And they, they they start to ease into each other and start to get comfortable. They start to get comfortable and ease into a something. And you don't expect these two to be something. But they're slowly becoming something. So expect for that in the show. Uh, expect it to be a drama. It's not going to be action heavy. Is going to be more uh, action through basically, you know, out. Basically, if you was watching a movie about a thief, you're going to see thieves doing thief stuff. They're not going to be out here, you know, on some uh, Metal Gear Solid Spec Ops line kind of stuff. No, they're just, they're thieves. So they're going to do things more through strategy. They're going to have, you know, these devices and stuff they're going to use. They're going to strategically, you know, climb through here. They're gonna, it's a more of a strategy kind of thing. It's not really a, oh, you straight up need to see action, like pop, pop, pop straightforward hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of thing so don't expect that from this you're not going to get a heavy amount you're going to get a very little amount and then for the most part in the show you're going to be seeing more of Daisuke's life in the school and what he's going through and then you know later in the night that's when Dark comes out Dark comes out to do his thing he takes over Niwa's body and he's going to go and you know steal what he got to steal 
the uh, artifacts that you guys do. I can't say what those are. But you're going to get some magical elements to this. going to be some stuff. Magic is going to come up in this heaven. So, uh, ready your mind. But yeah, it's a... If I have to rate this show, it's average for me. It's an average show for me. I mean, because it's a whole lot that can be better to it. And, hey, the anime opening is on point, bro. The anime opening on point. I ain't finna lie. That, that music, ugh, on point. Because it reminded me of this anime called Kaze no Stigma. Y'all gonna get that review today for uh, Kaze no Stigma. You're gonna get that review. But the anime opening of Kaze no Stigma and D and Angel, they sort of remind me of the same thing. But, you know, you guys, I recommend you go check out the anime. It's average to me. It's not really on a grand spectacle to me, but it's average to me. But I do recommend you go check it out. Even though it's average, you may find, you may like it. And you guys, you can go watch the full episodes right now on YouTube. They have full episodes, English dub for free. Go watch them. Go check them out. They are there. But go check them out. The anime is, it's it, it, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's not bad. It's not whack. It has its problems and it has its it has its ups and it has its downs. But for me, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I think it's cool. I recommend I recommend you guys go check it out. And it was it did come out in two thousand and three. So the animation is gonna look a little bit older than usual but i think the animation still holds up enough for today and i think it does so i recommend you guys go check it out this is dn angel this is the way we got in chats episode eight shouts out to you guys for pulling up to the review this is spoiler free that's all i'm going to give you i can't give you any more because then i have to do spoiler review if you guys want a spoiler review of this anime you guys comment down below if you want spoiler reviews i only do spoiler reviews of these animes that i do for you guys unless you guys ask for it but these are spoiler free reviews you guys, go check this out. But it's your boy Kid Out. I, I gotta go. You guys, go start that peace, love, and positivity. And don't do drugs. But go start that peace, love, and positivity. Go be some good, genuine people. And spread it. You guys, hope you guys have a good day. Young Saiyan Drip. First Black Super Saiyan King of Light. I am that dude. Doses. Yeah.